All right, what's up, everybody? Um, the reason why I haven't been posting videos is because I had a factory reset my computer, so I've lost everything. The only thing I have left is this clip that's being posted, you know, with this uh, this commentary. This is all I have left. I'm just going to post the game in its entirety so I can put some videos out. And this is being done with Windows Movie Maker, so I can't usually make the usual cuts that I do. Right now, I do not have Sony Vegas, and I don't have Pinnacle, so I can't record or I cannot edit videos. So until I get those back again, um, I'm just going to have to deal with this. Uh, I hope you guys like it. So if you notice, the title should be um, My Failed Dunk Attempts. Since uh, I don't really have anything basketball related to talk about, you know, we all know the Mavs won, you know, blah, 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 whatever. That was weeks ago. That's not important. But I just want to talk about some, you know, basketball stories with these uh, videos since the, um, the gameplay will probably be kind of boring since it's, you know, the whole, whole game, not just the clips that I uh, cut out. So it's probably going to be like eight minutes or something like that. So for those of you who don't know, I'm 5'11 and a half. I can dunk. Just for those of you who don't know. I'm still trying to get the two-handed dunk. Um, I'm almost there, about an inch off, so eventually I have that down. But yeah, I can dunk, so I want to talk about the first few times I attempted to dunk. And I mean, um, what I mean is in games, not, you know, like just practicing dunking, you know, just walking around, you know, in your backyard on a goal. I mean, in an actual game, when you're you know, on a fast break or something, or you got a wide open lane, and you're trying to dunk, you know, I just want to talk about stuff like that. So the first time I attempted a dunk, um, you know, an in-game dunk, we were playing, uh, I'm sure you guys know that, you know, in gyms, in high schools, you kind of have the side goals and the main goals. We were playing full court on the side goals, so, you know, side to side, basically. And this was back in... Back in October, November, back when I was around 5'10", some, somewhere around that time. Around that time, I don't think I had actually dunked it. I just kind of had a feeling I could because I'd get my hand on the rim. But um, it was a day when we were playing basketball, you know, full court, side to side. And, you know, I was just in the zone, you know. I was uh, knocking down every shot, you know, I wouldn't miss. You know, I was jumping higher than I could ever jump, you know during that uh that game because you know when you're in the zone you know everything's on you're jumping higher your shots go in i mean you're quicker you're faster everything you, know, you just feel like a superhuman when you're in the zone you know it's crazy so i had been in the zone you know i made some shots i was blocking shots so i had the crazy idea um i believe it was either steal or a bad shot and i had a wide open you know straight on to the hoop and for me personally, I prefer dunking from the right side. It's just, um, it just feels easier for me for some reason. You know, I can dunk from wherever, but I feel better dunking from the right side. So, uh, the ball was outlet to me because I was already, you know, a little ahead. And I had a little running start. You know, and I, like I said, I had the crazy idea, you know, I'm going to try to dunk this ball, you know. I figured, hey, I'm going to go up and just dunk this ball, you know, get everybody hyped and everything like that. Because, you know, there were people sitting in the stands watching. You know, I ain't going to lie. There were some girls out there. You know, I was trying to impress. But what had happened was I was running full speed. Like I said, I was in the zone. You know, I was jumping high, everything. I went up for the dunk. And here's what happened. Um, now, this wasn't my worst fail attempt. The one I'm going to talk about next is, well, I went up for the dunk. And I got the ball in the rim. But it popped out. And because I didn't get high enough, my hand, when you when you mess up a dunk, you don't get high enough, your hand sometimes, it'll come across the rim or the, the, like the net, and it'll, um, you'll get these little red marks on your hand, which is what I had. Like, it's like the net burns your, um, I don't know exactly what it is, but you get red marks, you know, on your hand and, like, little spots everywhere, the red spots everywhere. It's not like a rash or anything like that. It's like, um, like the blood inside your uh, skin, like something, I don't know. I can't explain it, but... I had missed a dunk, and that's what happened to my hand. And when that happens, because this happened, um, this had happened twice before. This was the first time when I was 5'10". My hand um, was hurting so bad I could not play for the rest of the game. I had to actually sit out for about 15. Well, not not the whole rest of the game. I went to the, you know, I had to put water on and everything, and it was burning really bad. And, you know, after 15 minutes, you know, I was good, and I was good to play again. But that was my first failed dunk attempt, you know, an in-game dunk. 
when I had uh, tried to dunk it. Um, it was pretty. It was pretty. You know, it felt good going up to dunk it, and knowing I was that close, that it just didn't go in. You know, it just popped out. So, you know, like I said, this was back when I was 5'10", around October, November. So my second story, we fast forward, and I am, I guess, I want to say I was 5'11", then. Yeah, I was 5'11", then. This is some uh, months for, I'd say, around February, maybe. Yeah. So it's around February, and once again, we're playing on, you know, the same thing. And we were, now, this wasn't like a fast break where I had to dunk. You know, I was just there in the half court, basically. And um, I had the ball. The My defender, he went for a steal. And like you like they say, you reach, I teach. So he missed a steal and he went past me. had a free lane. And once again, you know, it, was, it took over my mind. This time I wasn't in the zone, but I was a little taller, you know, one inch. My vertical was a little higher. And yeah, I've been grabbing rim for a while now, so I figured, man, I'm going to try to dunk this. Like I said, I had some crazy ideas back then, but... Um, the short story is, basically, I uh, took off towards the rim, one dribble, two steps. I went up for the dunk. Once again, I missed the dunk. It was in and out, once again. And I also um, did the same thing to my hand again, except this time it was much, much worse, and I couldn't play for the rest of the day. Uh, I actually couldn't play for a couple days, like two or three days. I was, um, it was hurt pretty bad, my hand. And they, it takes a while to go away. Like, it'll heal quickly, you know, and depending on how bad it is. But it takes a while for the red marks to go away. So, you know, they were there for a while to remind me that I had messed up that dunk. And that time I had actually fell on the ground after uh, trying to dunk it. So, you know, that one kind of hurt too, my pride, you know. Another missed dunk in game, and um, it hurt a bit. Now, let me remind you guys, I hadn't completed a dunk yet to that time. That time frame, I had yet to complete an actual dunk. It, it wasn't until next month that I actually dunked the ball at my own uh, backyard. Then I did it at school, but not in-game. It was, um, you know, just us shooting around. You know, people like to, you know, when you're short and you're not, you know, well, not really short, but when you're not under, when you're under six feet, people like to claim, well, they don't think that you could dunk. So, you know, a lot of times you have to go out there and prove yourself. So I had dunked it one time. You know, just to show everybody. But I did dunk in game. My first in game dunk was um was a couple days ago. I was playing at LA Fitness, had a fast break, and the funny thing is, on the fast break, um there were two guys. I was on the left side of the court. Now this was actually full full court, you know. There were two guys in front of me, two tall guys. You know, they're pretty tall. They were like six two, six four. You know. To me, that's tall. I'm only 5'11 and a half, so, you know, that was tall. So, they were actually in front of me. Well, because, I, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm not trying to be bold or anything, but I'm a really fast player. That's pretty much what I rely on when I play basketball. Quickness and speed are things that I use a lot. So, you know, I was faster than them. I got ahead of them. And the only thing, because I had, a, had an off game, like the game before. I mean, I was terrible the game before. So, you know, I wanted to get myself hyped, so I went up for the dunk. And I didn't jam it through. It actually um, hit the backboard and went in. But, you know, it was a dunk nonetheless. You know, there were two guys behind me over six feet trying to block my shot. So, you know, I felt good about that one. Um, that's pretty much it. More basketball stories coming up soon if you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll catch you guys later.